Japanese Prime Minister Shinzo Abe came to Washington getting the greeting of a friend. He brought along a number of infrastructure investments Tokyo says could create 700,000 U.S. jobs, including in high-speed rail. It would only take one hour to ride the maglev train from Washington, D.C. to New York. Japan, with our high level of technical capability, we will be able to contribute to President Trump's growth strategy. It's a technique which past Japanese leaders used to ease the U.S.-Japan trade frictions in the 1990s. Trump's protectionist stance and withdrawal from a regional free trade pact has set Tokyo on edge. Abe now says the goals of an improved economic relationship can be achieved through negotiations, but both leaders are entrusting future U.S.-Japan trade talks to their deputies. On the economy, we will seek a trading relationship that is free, fair, and reciprocal, benefiting both of our countries. Abe made it clear he wanted to move beyond Trump's accusations that Japan was taking U.S. jobs. At a speech at the U.S. Chamber of Commerce, he blamed China for the global trade imbalances and reminded Americans that Japan has created more than 800,000 jobs in the United States. Needless to say, no one in Japan complains that his or her job has been taken away by the Americans because the Japanese have gained in business as well. It's truly a win-win relationship. But Abe also needs a win-win on the security relationship between Tokyo and Washington. On the campaign trail, Trump called their mutual defense pact into question, asking Tokyo to pay more for U.S. troops stationed there, even if it means Japan develops nuclear weapons. We are committed to the security of Japan and all areas under its administrative control and to further strengthening our very crucial alliance. The U.S.-Japan alliance is the cornerstone of peace and stability in the Pacific region. That reassurance extends, Trump pointed out, to disputed islands in the East China Sea, known as Diaoyu in China and Senkakus by the Japanese. And just last week, you may recall that U.S. Defense Chief Jim Mattis visited the region and reiterated the same sentiment about what Article 5 of the defense treaty between the U.S. and Japanese uh, means. But China, meantime, says those comments are creating instability in the region, Elaine. So, Jessica, what's next for the president and prime minister? Well, they're both admittedly very excited about what's next. When they left on the helicopter just a few hours ago, both of them were set to go to Mar-a-Lago, the president's private estate. It's his gift to Prime Minister Abe and his wife to host him in Florida and host him on his golf course. Prime Minister Abe, though, has one thing as a disadvantage, and that is that Mr. Trump's golf game is quite a bit better, we're told, than his. All right.